Hey guys, Dylan from Nova Records here coming at you with another video. Today I picked up a pretty cool collection. A uh, uh, good buddy of mine called me and he said, Hey, uh, you know, I'm at a storage unit, um, just trying to clean it out. This is my dad's stuff. Um, he had some records in here. I don't know if you want them. Uh, and I said, What kind of records are they? He's like, Well, it's a bunch of old stuff, you know. And usually when I hear that, like, oh, it's a bunch of old stuff, I think, you know, big band crap type of stuff and I'm like it, it was like a pretty far drive from my house and I was like can you give me some names of some bands maybe that you're seeing and he said you know Rolling Stones, Kinks, Queen stuff like that and I was like hmm okay so I drove down there and start looking through and saw a ton of good stuff just right off the bat so I was able to get everything from him and a couple extra surprises so I thought I'd just give you a real quick rundown of what I got I'll start off with the one I was most excited about. This is it, an original Kings Village Green Preservation Society. Um, gosh, it's a beautiful gatefold copy. Um, and uh, just in really, really great shape. I'll show you the label on reprise or reprise. But man, this is one I've been looking for for a really long time. I've got a Japanese pressing of it that's like a reissue. Um, but just kind of been looking for um, an older issue. This may not be a first, I'm not sure, but it's at least of the era. Uh, but this is a really great record. It's my favorite Kinks record, and I've really been look up, looking for it for a long time. So I was really happy to pick that up. This is one I've never seen out in the wild before. This is the Kink something else. This is still on the shrink. Um... U.S. Press on, on Reprise. Um, and these are super clean copies. Um, all, a lot of records in here. Some of them are a little beat, but all the Kinks stuff was really nice. So, um, something else by the Kinks. This is a great psychedelic Kinks record. Um, this is one, like I said, I've never even seen out in a while before. Uh, it may be common to you wherever you are in the country, but around here, I just don't see it. So, I've been dying for one. Recently have thought about even doing the unthinkable and trying to find one online, but um, luckily I was able to find this one out in a while. Um, try to, I'm trying to kind of go in some sort of order, but okay, this is uh, Kinks Preservation Act 1. Uh, this is on RCA. I've already got this one, so uh, depending on which one's in better shape, one of them will be for sale. So this is uh, Preservation Act 1, which I really like this, and I've never even seen this one. Uh, this is Preservation Act 2. Uh, this is mid-70s kink stuff. So, gatefold. I mean, I'm going to give this one a spin to see if I like it. Try not to be a completist, you know. Sometimes it happens. This is one This is uh, that I've not seen out in the wild. Again, I've not seen a lot of kink stuff here uh, in the past couple of years at least. This is uh, Lola versus the Power Man and the Money Go Round. Sorry guys, it's late. Um, I just always refer to this one as Lola. But this is part one on reprise. Really, really good shape. Gatefold and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, this is one. Um, I know this is highly regarded among psych people. And I've never really gotten real deep into this one. So I'm excited to get this one. Um, and like so the Kinks are kind of a band for me that... I never, um, I just never really got into them. I never found any Kinks records when I was a kid. Never had any of them. Uh, you know, You Really Got Me, I knew that from Van Halen when I was young. And then it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I even started listening to them. So, it's just one of those things. I don't know. So, I'm, I'm glad. I have a few Kinks records already. But this is like almost hits all of them for me. So, this is the Kinks Lola. This is a comp. On Pickwick, this is a UK pressing, so it's a pretty cool little deal. Um, probably won't keep this one. Probably let that one go. The Kinks, everybody's in showbiz. Um, this is a, I believe, this is a live record. Um, but anyways, this is a cool one. I, this is one I don't see very often, so I'll listen to that one and see. I know that's like a mid '70s type deal. Grace hits. Um, I've already got one of these, but I may keep this one because it's kind of still in the shrink. You really got me. 
Um, well, that's a that's a reissue, so I probably won't keep that actually. No, because mine is an original. Uh, I believe this is a reissue. I don't know. Anyways, I'll get more deep into it. Literally, I just got these home, just pulled them in the door, and I'm showing them to you right now. So I haven't really dove into these too deep. Um, this is one I've been looking for, um, and I just haven't seen it. Uh, the King's uh, Muswell, Muswell Hillbilly. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But um, I've, heard, I've heard really good things about this record, and I've not really been able to check it out. Um, so excited to get that one and, and give it a spin. I had a reissue of this one, but I believe this one's an original. Um, this is the, the blah, 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 Arthur or the Klein of the Fall of the British Empire. Um, yeah, I have a reissue of this. Um, and it's a lot, um, it's a lot newer reissue. This is, it's probably like a 2010 through 15, somewhere along in there, your reissue of it. So I'll definitely let that one go and keep this one. This is, uh, definitely either an original or close to it. U.S. Press. So, um, this is a good record. I really like it. This kink size stereo. Um, and I... I probably will sell this one because I, I know I've got, I've got, I think I've got two monos. Um, so I probably need to sell one of the monos too, but this is a super clean, um, this is a reissue though. But anyways, kink size. Um, this one I've never seen before. And I know maybe you kinks people are like, what? Soap opera. Um, I've never even heard of this one before. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then... The rest of this stuff, when you start getting into like late 70s into 80s kink stuff, I don't normally stick around. This is Chronicles, um, Word of Mouth, uh, Low Budget, uh -oh. uh, State of Confusion. <laughs> I don't know what the heck this is. Schoolboys in Disgrace. That cover's a little disturbing. Um... It's one for the road. I've had that one a million times. It's pretty common. This one is called Think Visual. I've never even seen that one before. I give the people what they want. I've had that one. Sleepwalker. And then Misfits. So I've got a good, a good bit of kinks in there. Um, if you stuck around for all that. Um, and I'll blow through the rest of these pretty quick. Uh, this is a really cool uh, Yardbirds For Your Love. This one's a little bit beat. They usually are. Uh, but the vinyl, okay. But uh, that's an amazing record. Um, Sticky Fingers, a little bit beat up. It's really nice Queen jazz. Um, right now, Queen stuff, I'm thrilled to find it because it really sells well. Uh, Moody Blues, The Who Tommy, Beatles Rarities. Queen, A Night at the Races, or Day at the Races, Procol Harum, Broken Barricades, this is Procol Harum, uh, Grand Hotel, Live, this is, this is a really good uh, Procol Harum, I really like this, I might, if my copy's not as nice, I might keep this one, uh, this one's Procol Harum, Home, really, really nice, oh gosh, that one's in pretty good shape, I might keep that one. Um, <laughs> oh, here's a, oh, you know, just pet sounds. This is original mono. Uh, this one's got some, some serious ring wear, but the vinyl's not that bad. So, we'll see. Uh, got a good bit of the old Elvis Costello, um, Tina Turner, some mediocre stuff. Punch o'clock. Elvis Costello. Get happy. Trust. Uh, my name is True. I've never gotten into Elvis Costello. Maybe I should give him a more of a shot. But um, what's this one? Armed Forces. Goodbye, Cruel World. It's Gone with the Wind soundtrack. Uh, I mean, there's some good stuff in here, but there's some turds too. Uh, the Immortal Otis Redding, which 
Otis Redding, I, I love so much. Um, Return to Waterloo, Ray Davies. That's cool. I didn't remember seeing that one. Top Hattie and Heartbreakers. Some Billy Joel. Uh, stuck in there kind of weird. And then Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Um, and then, let's see here. I'm going to take you guys for a little field trip here into the box because that's going to be a lot easier for me. Uh, Disraeli Gears. Just a Who Live at Leeds. Moody Blue stuff. Oh, yeah, some Beatles. Got to get a bit of Beatles stuff. Um, Satana Braxis, Beach Boys, Moody Boys. Moody Blues. Pete Townsend. That's not a butcher cover. I already checked. Heart. CCR. I might keep that. I need I need a good copy of that. Slow Hand. RSP Wagon. Wings. Woodstock album. So good. Journey. Stones. This never has the big poster. It never has it in there. Best of Cream. Oh yeah, Let It Bleed. That's, that's very good too. And this one's... Hey Jude. Fragile. Blues Brothers. Oh man. Out of itself. So good. Surfer Girl. <laughs> oh Grant. Sam and Dave. So good. Sound of Music. Uh, Procol Harum. Procol's ninth. Is that really autographed? No. Of course it's not. Uh, some Genesis stuff. Phil Collins. The Queen, Queen, the Game, Proker Harem, Something Magic, Genesis, Proker Harem, A Salty Dog. That's a great album. I already have it, though. Anyways, so I'll bring you guys back over here. There you are. So, thought I'd, oh, by the way, there's more. So, we're looking through stuff, and I see out of the corner of my eye. Oh, well, first of all, also got these. 45s that came in the super cool crate. There's like a bunch of white snake and like 80 stuff in there. And of course some kinks. Saw of my eye, this little guy, banjo. Back in my day, I used to pick a little banjo. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So um threw this bad boy in on the deal. Got it done. And uh so pretty excited to get the banjo again. It's been a while since I played. And I'm excited. This one's got a broken string. Well, two broken strings, really. And I gotta fix the uh, the fifth here. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a crazy good banjo player, but I used to really enjoy kind of messing around with it. And thought I'd give it, get this one and give it another shot. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I, I mean, sorry for all the the uh, slurred speech and and uh, errors I've made on this video. It's just uh, about it's about 1 a.m. And pretty tired, so I'll play you guys out now. Now, now, mind you, I'm missing two strings, so. so I'm, I'm a little rusty, guys, but uh, you get the point.